Tonight is September the 9th, 2016. And um, the other day when I made a video, I talked about a large step start relay circuit I put in this old transmitter I have. And um, a couple of people asked that I do document it. Maybe it'll help. Um, let me start out with with the uh, common ones first. I'll show you how this one is. This one's actually very simple. If you Google the step start circuit right there, you'll end up with a whole lot of ideas. And they basically end up like this. And this is actually the first one. I, I actually drew it out. And this was, whoops, this one. I actually drew it out on 823. And I built this one first. These are the two wires coming in from all the existing circuit over over here in the transmitter to this big power transformer. And then I just put a diode, a 1.5K, uh, no, I guess it's about a 10 watt um, pot in there. I used a 220 microfarad capacitor and a 120 volt AC coil. And I could adjust this and I could get somewhere between, oh, I don't know, uh, virtually no delay and maybe up to three quarters of a second and you see here's the relay contact right here this relay contact is uh, part of this coil and then I had a 10 ohm coil heater coil across it so that when so that when power is applied here at first it's going to go through the um, the heater coil which is going to limit the current out to this big transformer this is the big transformer you'll see in just a second and then after this capacitor right here charges through this RC circuit, then the relay picks up and shorts out the, the uh, current limiting resistor up here, and then you have full power over to the relay. The problem with this is, is uh, the, the amount of time that you can adjust it to is very limited, which is okay. It'll, it'll do, like I say, for basically uh, no time delay to up to maybe three quarters of a second which is probably sufficient for just about everything. and um, But it just didn't seem reliable. So what I did is I built a big one. And here it is, and here's what I used. I went back to that 8 ohm coil right there. That's the coil right there when it says 8 ohm, 1800 watt. It's a little heater coil. That's the one that's in series, and this is the relay down here a big 120 volt AC relay that shorts it out and this is the transformer it's feeding right here so when you when you first key the high voltage on this is in series with uh, this wire right here this big wire right here and then after and then the coil of this uh, of this mercury relay is actually across the same points. It's kind of hard to see in there. Hold a light at the same time. It's across that first terminal, the first one, and the third one. The same terminals that's actually going to power up the transformer. So what happens is when it comes up, it uh, the power is applied to the transformer with uh, this load in series with it, which is basically equivalent to the uh, the, the DC resistance and or impedance however you want to look at it of this transformer so it's basically being halved for about a half a second which gives the capacitors time to charge and then this big relay right here picks up and shorts it out shorts this guy out so then I have full power applied to it it's really just that simple you gotta tinker with it's what you gotta do now, if you look in the in the um, on the internet, they have these ranging from every imaginable value. I found that 100 microfarads up to 220 worked good for me. I used a 450 volt one. I used a 120 volt AC coil. Uh, some of the ones that I saw on the internet used like a 48 volt DC coil. I actually did change this one to a 48 volt DC coil and tried some of their uh, values of capacitors and it didn't work at all for me so there you go you know you just got to experiment with it but these these values right here do work 
Now, I've also seen, see I used a 10 ohm resistor, a very high wattage, that little coil. Now I've seen on uh, the ones on the internet too where they use like a 500 ohm. Wow, that that's not going to give you much charging, you know. Well, here's the, here's the actual circuit. Here's actually the way it is. That's actually what's installed in there now. It comes in here. Goes through that 8 ohm, 1800 watt little heater coil. This is that uh, mercury wetted that mercury relay right there. Which see, as you can see, the mercury relay contacts are right actually straight across the transformer. I'll show you how it powers up. It's actually really simple, but you got to experiment with it. I'm right now running a pair of uh, Pentalab PL6775s which are the equivalent of a uh, iMac 4-400C. Uh, I've actually uh, had and picked up some more of these uh, Pentalab tubes made back in the USA back in the 60s and they are so good. I know everybody's an iMac fan and so am I. But let's power this guy on. Show sure you how it comes up. And I'll, I'll power it up it's, and I'll show you what the delay does for it. Let's give it a few minutes to warm up. But that's what I'm running in there. I've shown this transmitter a few times on YouTube. I really enjoy it. It works great. It's kind of a big guy. I use uh, vacuum capacitors, the big roller inductor up here for the tuned circuit. Anyway, these are all the control circuits and the high voltage supply down here and up here. It uses two big diodes here and there's actually two back under there that you can kind of see that uh, give me a bridge and a very curious kitty cat that I don't want to get in there. Okay, so let's close this guy up because it won't power up with the door open. And I'll show you what the delay is. And you can decide if it makes sense. hook it to a dummy load. This is a, an antenna tuner over here. Pretty common antenna tuner. A homemade job. We flip it up and we make it ready. So now that when we key it, what you'll do is you'll see and you you could you have to kind of watch it and listen and you'll you'll hear how it comes up and hear what the uh, the step the step start that I'm talking about is. All right, I think everything's warmed up enough. Let's try it here. So it comes up to a little over 3,500 volts there. Watch it again. It'll jump up to about, oh, I don't know, 2,000 volts and then it'll, it'll, it's only about a half a second. Here it goes. Like it's one, two. I haven't actually measured it, but it it, it just stopped that enormous surge that that transformer wants when when you first power it up. I can't zoom back out on the camera anymore as far as I can get out. And then of course, I'll leave it on there a second. They'll start showing a little bit of red in there. Funny how the camera, I can see it in the in the uh, viewfinder here, how the uh, camera actually uh, looks makes the place look blue. They're actually orange. So anyway, that's the step start circuit for what it's worth. I don't know if you need to build anything quite that big. The, uh, the other approach, the soft start, which I guess I would think about it, are, are when you use these little thermal resistors like this. These things come in just about practically every value you can imagine. See, these are two and a half ohm. I don't know how much current, probably four or five amps. They actually uh, can carry quite a bit of current. I think there's some more in here. Yeah, here's some in here. See, these are actually rated, uh, these are 10 ohm. 
about the same thing, three or four, three or four or five amps. I don't know why this one doesn't have a current rating on it. There's some 10 ohm ones, some two and a half ohm ones, and whatever. You can get these things in just about any value you want. Up to, I think the biggest ones I've seen, see there's another one, a bigger one. I think the, the, the biggest ones I've seen in this type is 12 amps. And that is certainly big enough for uh, any kind of a, you know, reasonable size audio amp. Here's a really old one right here, a GE750. Again, it doesn't seem to have the specs on it. So there you go. So if you need any kind of a soft start, step start type circuit, you can uh, you can look them up here. Get a lot of ideas. If you want something that's uh, really big, you can you can do it the way I did it with a with a heater coil and a, and a big mercury relay and uh, just gives it uh, just gives the capacitors out here actually that we're not seeing in this schematic gives the capacitors time to charge it gives this a uh, big uh, primary this big uh, transformer time to stabilize and uh, not draw such an enormous amount of surge current here so I hope this helps